Hey everybody, this video will be a quick, simple guide on how to install and launch the Nemesis engine for Skyrim. That is required by a lot of the new combat and animation mods. First, go to the Nemesis engine Nexus page and under the requirements, you will see that you need the C++ redistributable 2019 version. You probably already have this installed on your PC, but if not, just follow the link and install the file through Microsoft. If you're unsure, you can check your installed programs in the control panel. Then just go to the file section and select Mod Manager Download. Now I'm going to be using Mod Organizer 2 for this tutorial, but Vortex works just fine as well. Simply let it download, then install and enable like you would for any normal mod. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to rename it version 2. I also recommend for MO2 users to create a new mod by clicking on the little tool symbol and selecting create empty mod. Simply call it Nemesis Output. Next, if you are using Mod Organizer 2, go to the executable drop down menu and select edit. Click the little plus symbol and add from file. Find the project new rain nemesis folder in your MO2 mod directory. Inside the nemesis engine folder, select the nemesis unlimited behavior engine application. Then you also want to select create files in mod instead of overwrite. And in the drop down menu, find the mod you created called nemesis output. This will mean any animation behaviors you create will be stored here instead of creating an overwrite folder. Simply hit apply and OK to finish, and the Nemesis engine should now be available to select from the executable drop down menu. For Vortex users, you can do the same thing on your dashboard by adding a new tool, then setting the target to the project New Rain Nemesis application. However, the location of the Nemesis mod folder will be where your Skyrim game is installed on your PC, inside the data folder. Vortex users also do not need to create the Nemesis output mod. Now before running Nemesis, you also need a mod that uses the behavior engine. As an example for this video, I will be installing the mod Book of Shadows, which requires Nemesis for some animations. Of course, make sure you have all the other requirements then just download, install and enable the mod like normal. Then select and run the Nemesis engine. Here you will see a list of mods that require Nemesis. You only want to select the ones that you actually have installed. Also note that not all mods that require Nemesis will appear in this list, but you will still need to run the Nemesis engine. I have just installed Book of Shadows, so I will select that one. Then select Update Engine and let it complete. It may take a few seconds. Then select Launch Nemesis Behavior Engine. Wait for it to reach 100% and then you're all done. You can now exit out of the Nemesis application. And that's it, you're all done. You can now launch and play Skyrim with your new mod. During this process, you may have gotten an error when running the Nemesis Engine. One of the most common errors is often called 6002 and usually means your Windows real-time security is blocking the program. A quick fix is to exit out of Nemesis and find the application in your mod folders. Right-click Properties, go to the Compatibility tab and select Run this program in compatibility mode for either Windows 8 or Windows 7. This should hopefully fix that error for you. If you are getting another error, the best way to solve it is to go to the Nemesis mod page and see if anyone has had the same error. Or you can search it on Google. Most likely someone has had the same error as you. As a final recap, when installing any mod that requires Nemesis, make sure you run Nemesis, select the mod you have installed if they are there, update the engine and then run the behavior engine. Wait for it to finish, exit out, and enjoy. And that's it for this guide. I hope it helped. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Be sure to check out my channel for more Skyrim modding videos. Cheers.